So it is wet to dry to fly. Um, it's how we're going to get there with Alicia today, who's our model. Um, how we're going to do this is with our hair dryer. This is the Dyson Supersonic. And what you're going to see is she's going to be able to dry her hair in literally minutes. And the reason she's going to be able to do that is because unlike other hair dryers, there's actually a computer system built in. It's an intelligent I'm heat sorry, control. a computer system? Let me back it up. Like okay. a... A computer? Yes, like a computer system, like your smartphone, wow. right? Yes. So it's, it's a computer system built in, and it actually is going to measure the temperature of the air, and it's going to change temp temperatures 20 times every second. What? I know. It's I can't hard to do believe. anything 20 times yes, in one second. I mean, forget that, right? So it's it's incredible the technology that's built in, um, because a lot of us we don't know we don't know how hot our hair dryer is getting. We don't know. No clue. Right? Or what's the right temperature that your hair dries at? So with this, you don't have to worry about it because it will automatically know because of the intelligent heat control computer system that's built in. So that's the first thing. Um, one of my other favorite things is that your hair doesn't get caught in the back because the motor part is of right my here heart just stopped. Yeah. Oh my God. So <laughs> great to actually be able to style with this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start here um, with our model, Alicia. Hi, Alicia. And she's going to, hey, girlfriend. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a, um, a uh, wet to dry just fully. And you've wet your hair. Can we actually, can you um, put it to the side so everyone can see? It's definitely wet. And we're going to do no no tool on the end, which, by the way, all the tools are magnetic, though. So if you want to pop them in, that. you can. No problem. You can pop them out as well if you want. Um, I think we might have a little plug Issue. Situation. We'll so tell you what, we'll get the what? plug situation and then I'll show you everything <laughs> that you're getting. Because, I mean, here's the thing. We're live. Things happen. And probably just somebody stepped on the cord. But when you bring this home, first of all, double check our value compared to anywhere else that you want to purchase the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. You'll quickly see that while it is an investment, we offer something called Easy Pay, which allows you to pay for this over six months. And it ships to your door for free. Because while it is that incredible investment with the style concentrate, you get two of those. You also get the diffuser, which is great for curly hair. But if you are somebody that loves to put your hair up in pin curls, this is going to totally change the way you style your hair. This is an incredible value. And I think with the time that you get back from using the Dyson hair dryer, I'll say this. I grew up in a hair salon. My hair is so unruly, texturally, and curly that I used to have to sit under a dryer with my mom putting Velcro rollers in my hair because that's the only way my hair would take to a dryer. Of course, I came across a round brush and a hair dryer, and it used to take me anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes because while I have thin strands, I have a lot of them. With this, my dry and style time with a round brush was 11 minutes. I went from 30 to 40 minutes, Susie, to 11 minutes with this dryer. I mean, I it used to take me 40 minutes to dry my hair, um, and now I'm down to like a five to six minute rough dry. That's You that, have that's, a lot of hair. I do. It's really thick. It's ton. It, it's, it's long. So, I mean, I'm talking about crucial, right? That's a lot of time to be shaving off, and that's what's so incredible about this hair dryer is that you're going to be able to shaving so many minutes off. You're going to be able to dry your hair in minutes, and that's what Alicia here is going to show you. So we've wet down her hair, so it's like super, super wet, just like she got out of the shower, and she's going to just start drying, and we don't have any um, attachments on the end. This is just a rough dry, um, and we're sort of like roughly timing her here and just now checking is this it out. what everybody should do rough dry before okay. they start yes yeah, so what you want to do is before you style you do want to take out most of the moisture not all of it because you want a little bit at the end um to if you're doing a curl or something like that but you do want to take out most of the moisture and no first. attachments on this for the rough dry right now if you want to do the fastest dry possible don't put any attachments on the end because that's really going to give you the most airflow possible. Because if I'm going to, I'm going to pause you for a second because there's a hole in the center. That hole there is actually designed to give you more airflow. So more airflow combined with that intelligent heat control is really what helps you to get that super, super fast, fast dry. Um, so what you can do now, you don't have to. Um, use it without a nozzle. If you want to pop on the smoothing nozzle, sure. which would be this one, I'm going to pause you again, which would and be that, this And one. that's the thinnest. Yeah, so this, no, this is the, the second to thinnest. So okay. the thinnest is the styling. Got it. Super thin. Next is smoothing. 
So smoothing is also sort of your, um, I would call it your everyday um, uh, drying nozzle. Okay. So if you're someone who you like to have a nozzle on there as you dry, um, just to sort of smooth it out as you're drying, pop on the smoothing nozzle. But if you're just going for speed to start, um, just use it without any tools or attachments on the end. Um, and that'll really give you, um, I think, the biggest benefit in terms of speed. And what's nice is, is, Alicia, you can go as close to your hair as you want. And we're not worried about, you know, is my ear going to burn? Is my hair going to burn? It, you know, is it going to have that sort of um, dried out look? Um, right. Because that computer system inside is measuring air temperature 20 times every second. So that means that this hair dryer is smart. It's smart technology. We've never seen it, or at least I never have seen it in any other hair dryer, um, where it's actually using the right amount of heat to give you. And what is that temperature that you call the right okay. amount of heat? Because I do so, think that in the world of beauty tools, temperature is everything. And a lot of times in our presentations, we absolutely disclose that so you know what you're working with. So here's the cool thing. And let me pause you for a second here. So you'll have. Oops. So you'll have these three. You'll see them lit up. These are your three heat settings. Now, we have it on the highest. The be oh, let me see if you can see. There, you can see it better. Now, the best part about this hair dryer is that even when it's on the highest, that temperature is not set. There are other hair dryers where, let's say, the highest is 400 degrees, and then below that, maybe 300, and then below that, maybe two. Ours is not like that at all. Ours, this entire hair dryer will not go beyond 293 degrees. Even if you have it on the highest setting, it will automatically adjust temperature. So if Alicia's hair is already fully dry, it doesn't need to be at 293 degrees because it's mostly dry. Right. So it will automatically go lower. It will adjust for her. That's what makes that intelligent heat control system so special is that you, don't, you may not realize that your hair is maybe getting drier on one side than the next as you're drying it, this hair dryer knows. And that's why it changes temperature so often in that second because you're doing, you know, all over the place. So it needs to keep up with you. Right. And we also, we make the mistake of blow drying the top of our hair more than the bottom or, mm -hmm. or excuse me, more than the, the underneath middle, the back middle always is like damp. Yes. So now you don't have to worry about frying the top of the hair. Well, and Susie, I just have to give Dyson and the team kudos as you guys continue to dry and style mm -hmm. from wet to dry to fly because so many times, you know, whether it's second day hair, which we're going to talk about tonight, from wet to dry, when you choose the low setting versus the high setting, the actual airflow changes. And a lot mm -hmm. of us skip the low setting completely because you're like, I don't have time for airflow yes. that's not strong enough to get the job done. So I love how this is the temperature gauge because especially when it comes to wet hair, you want the high hottest temperature, but you don't want to compromise the integrity of your strands, but you also want to get it done in a really quick manner as well. It's so true. A lot of us do. We do high heat, high airflow, and for so many other hair dryers, that leaves you with that crunchy feeling. With ours, it's not like that. It's automatically adjusting temperature every time, no matter what setting you're at. Um, so Alicia's going to finish off her look. So we already were able to dry it in literally minutes. What, three minutes? Two or three minutes? So, I mean, and you're down from, what's your typical time? 20, 20 minutes, guys, down to two to three minutes. That I mean, time savings, that's like a something else, right? So now we're going to go ahead and style. And we're going to talk again. It's beauty school. So we're going to show you the difference between using the round brush and the powder Ooh. brush. Okay, because two great choices. But if you want a smoother look, opt for the round brush. And we're going to show you a live side-by-side -side comparison on Alicia's hair so she can show you how your hair looks when you're using both. So go ahead and you'll have that round brush. And we're going to actually pop on the styling concentrator. Remember, all the attachments are magnetic. They pop right on and off. And you get three. This is your styling concentrator. Earlier, we had the smoothing nozzle on. And then this is your diffuser which Alicia will show us fabulous curly hair later in the presentation. Her Pop fault. that back on. Um, and so we'll go ahead. You can use, uh, we'll do paddle brush first, and then, or yeah, round brush first, and then we'll do paddle brush. So the nice thing about the round brush is it's very easy to do, or much easier to do, I, I should say, with this um, hair dryer because it's so light. Well, but also because you know? the dryer is so compact. It too. is. It's not cumbersome or exhausting. And I'll tell you, the nice thing is that because your hair doesn't get caught in the back, you can do all the styling you need. You don't necessarily have to put this hair dryer down on the 
on the kitchen or the uh, bathroom sink as you're styling. You can just style as you go um, and get close to the hair as you want as you're styling, especially when you're doing the smoother styles. Like they mm -hmm. we see them do at the salon, right? They get the round brush. Like your the hair dryer is so close to the hair, right? Um, and the finished product at the salon looks amazing. Well, and I have to say, like, a lot of times when you're at the salon, everything goes by quick because you're like, oh, that's the professional. Her hair dryer must mm -hmm. just be better than mine. But really, when you have a tool like this that has airflow designed the way that Dyson's done, you can forget being the professional. Throw that out the window. You can be you and still have great hair. You know, I'll tell you what. Um, so many of us, you know, you go to the salon and... They blow dry your hair and you feel like a million bucks. You, your hair looks amazing and you, you leave there going, what product did they use? You're asking a million questions. What hair dryer did they use? What brush did they use? You know, because you're trying to recreate that look. And the truth of the matter is, is nine times out of 10, the reason why your hair looked amazing was because they did not overheat your hair. Mm -hmm. They're professionals, right? So when they, they section it off properly, they dry the one part, go to the next. But us at home, we're such in a hurry and in a rush that we just put it on high heat, high blast. Right. And you know, because we're, we're trying to get, and then, and then what, what do we do on top of that when it's, when it's frizzy? We use a hair straightener Yeah, on top of that. Well, and then like when I would read those articles in magazines, it's like, oh, how to achieve this look, you know, fresh from the salon uh -huh. blowout. And they'd be like, oh, take a two inch section. I'm like, do you see <laughs> like, how much what? hair I have? Yeah. I'm not taking a two inch section. However, like I said, when I went into the QVC salon for the first time and used the Dyson dryer, what normally we have to schedule out takes 40 minutes to dry my hair from wet to dry with mm -hmm. any other dryer took 11 minutes and they were the smallest sections on the planet, but <laughs> it was like two passes and you had dry styled hair. I mean, let me tell you, if I'm doing small little sections, it better be New Year's Eve. Okay, there better right. be a special occasion where I'm gonna take the time because I, I'm just, I don't have that kind of time. And also if your hair is really long and heavy, I mean, it, it you know, it just, it's a really cumbersome. But I'll tell you what, my mother-in-law has short hair my mom has um, medium length hair. Don't think that this is only beneficial for someone with longer hair because of the speed. It's also really great for the short haired folks because there's a shorter window of when you need to really style your hair quickly before it starts to uh, dry really wonky. Mm -hmm. And so you do need a hair dryer that's gonna work fast, be effective and not you know, burn your hair or be at least less likely to burn your hair. Remember, this one has your intelligent heat control. And um, again, what we're looking at is Alicia. She did one half of her head with the paddle brush, the other side with the round brush. And then we're gonna pause her here in a second. Are we about done? Bring out your other side of your hair. So you can see already the side with the round brush just has a nicer shine to it. It's like sheen, right? That, that's from the round brush. And then you have the paddle brush side. It just, it's just a little, Gosh, a little duller looking with the paddle brush. Um, so if you want a, a sort of a cleaner look, a smoother look, always go for the round brush. It's sort of like a little beauty school tip um, just to make it look um, sort of more polished. But in general, you're able to still dry it again with our dryer in two or three minutes, which gives you that fantastic look that you want in just a really short amount of time. Well, let's take a look at her before and after. Okay. I love this. Yeah, this is so great. So this is Alicia um, Air Dry. Um, with no product in it. So you can see it's just really thicker. Um, there's some frizz in it. Um, uh, but now when we have used our Dyson Supersonic on it, you have that beautiful smooth hair, nice and straight, and no product in there, by the way, and no hair straightener in there, by the way, either. Um, I, I love, love that. this, right? It looks so good. And then here's the back of her hair. Again, very wavy, um, you know, sort of a little bit more unruly there. Um, but what you can see is that using our Dyson Supersonic, we were able to give her this beautiful straight hair. And you saw her guys dry it live. We didn't use any straighteners with this. This is her natural hair, just using our styling concentrator, blow drying it down with a simple round brush. Very easy to do. And just to kind of give you a close up of how these connect, they're magnetic. So mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like with other hair dryers, these just come right off. But having that strength and connection there always ensures that you've got the integrity of device. I also want to call out that this is the white silver. This is the one that I'll be using all throughout the presentation. Susie has the iron fuchsia. This is an investment. This is an investment that you have the opportunity here at Beauty IQ to pay for over the six months. It will cost you $66.50. It ships to your door for free. But I want to put that in perspective for you. Because 
because I want to say that if you're someone that shampoos and conditions every single day for $2 a day over the next six months, in my case, I could grow.